Welcome to Module 4 on Confidence Intervals, and this is Lecture 3, in which we will work through Sample Problem 1, which is entitled Data Scatter Around Move. And this is brought to you by the infamous Dr. Dog. For those of you who saw the old Clint Eastwood movie Unforgiven, The Dog of Death. Welcome to Statistics. Now, we've just been assigned a study by the U.S. Department of Wildlife, and they want to conduct a study of the hearing range of the infamous albino Hungarian banded aardvark. Look at that little rascal down there. We've been asked to construct a 90% confidence interval for all hearing ranges. The mean hearing range is 1,245 feet with a standard deviation of 310 feet. Now, what we have here is a population. A population of albino Hungarian Banded aardvarks, we know the mean and we know the standard deviation, and we've been asked to construct a 90% confidence interval. Let's read through this and look for things that are important. Construct a 90% confidence interval is important. That tells us that this is a confidence interval problem. For all hearing ranges, that tells us that we're dealing with data and individual datum values within the distribution. The mean hearing range is 1,245 feet. Aha, we know move. And the standard deviation is 310 feet. So we know the standard deviation. We know sigma. Now, what type of problem is this? Well, this is a confidence interval problem. We just read it. Is this a population or a sample? Well, this is a population. We didn't take a sample. What is the mean? Well, mu is 1,245 feet. And what is the standard deviation? Well, sigma is 310 feet. What is the required level of confidence? Well, they told us that right up here. It's 90% level of confidence. And what is a 90% z-score? What z-score traps 90% of the data on, e on either side of the mean? Well, let's check it. The z-score that we want on either side of the mean is 1.645 for a confidence interval. Now, isn't that cool? Now, looking at the things we know, we know mu, we know sigma, and we know z for 90%. We're ready to roll. Now, our confidence interval formula is given by mu minus z times sigma and mu plus z times sigma. Z times sigma is an amount on each side of mu that allows us to trap 90% of our data. So let's work through this formula. We've just plugged into this formula the values of mu. We plugged in the values of sigma. And we plugged in the values of z for 90%. Now all we have to do is work through the formula. And lo and behold, the first thing you do is multiply. And once you multiply, then you do your subtraction and addition. So we have established that 90% of these hearing ranges lie between a lower bounds of 735.05 and an upper bounds of 1754.95 feet. This is really cool stuff. So again, here we have the things we know and we have our 90% confidence interval. Let's look at what this means. You recognize this curve? This is a normal distribution with mean of 1245 and a standard deviation of 310 feet. We're looking at this lower bounds, which is right here, and this upper bounds, which is right here, which catches 90% of the data. That means if we randomly select a, a albino aardvark, we have a 90% chance of him falling here. We have 10% error, which is split in half, 5% on each side. So if we, we randomly uh, select him, we've got 90% of him falling in the interval, 5% chance of him falling here, and 5% chance of him falling here. Now, what we observe here is that mu lies in the exact center of this distribution, this 90%. We have an area here and an area here in which we trap 90% of the data. We have 5% error here and 5% error here. Now, look at this interval on each side of mu. This is z times sigma. Remember our formula? Mu minus, mu minus z times sigma and mu plus z times sigma. z times sigma tells us how many standard deviations below the mean we must go and how many standard deviations above the mean we must go to trap 90% of the data values. Now, our confidence interval formula, again, is this. So if we look at this z sigma, 
It is our z score, 1.645 times 310. So this distance from here to here is 509.95 units, and this distance from here to here is 509.95 units. We are 90% certain that a randomly selected datum will lie between 735.05, the lower bounds, and 1745.95, the upper bounds. We are 5% certain that a randomly selected datum will fall below 735.05, and we are 5% certain that a randomly selected datum will lie above this upper bounds of 1745.95 feet. Now you know all about albino Hungarian bandit aardvarks. Rolling, 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 though the streams are swollen, keep them doggies rolling raw hard. Rain and wind and weather, hell bent for leather, wishing my gal was by my side. All the things I'm missing, good bills, love, and kissing, are waiting at the end. Move them on, hit them up, hit them up, move them up, move them on, hit them up, 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 hit